Hi, I'm Dom Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Spark EDM from Arturia for PluginBoutique.com. It's a drum machine with a whole host of amazing features, so uh, let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So this is Spark EDM. It's a drum machine that can be used for both productions and live performance. But before I go into any more detail, I'll just go through some of the presets like this now. So there's a sequencer at the top, if I click on the top button here, where you can sequence out your beats and choose things like the time signature, banks and patterns by flicking through the page tabs here. So let's give this pattern a quick play to hear what it sounds like first. Now you can see down the right hand side are the instrument names so I could fill in the first beats worth of 16 notes along the kick drum like this and then it should sound like this. There are also some mute and solo buttons here and a little plus sign here uh, where clicking on this will give you extra options like setting the velocity for example. At the bottom left you can see a song button where if I click that like this I can choose which patterns are assigned to each part of an overall arrangement so that they can be triggered later on at the press of a button. Now if I go to the center section of the machine by clicking the center button here you can see that this is more like a performance drum machine where I can see the 16 steps of a sequence along the top and the instrument trigger pads along the bottom. So if I play the same loop now you'll see them lighting up as they're triggered like this. Above each pad you can see the pitch attack and decay dials to fine tune each one and then above and to the right of these you'll see a jog dial and buttons to choose the songs and patterns so that you can arrange your tracks in real time. This can be really handy for live performances and re-edits of tracks too and there's even a button at the top of the screen where you can sync the plugin to one of Arturia's Spark hardware machines to control it too. Then across the middle of this section you'll find an effects unit with an XY pad and the effects down the right of that. So with the filter selected as default here, I'll just quickly play a loop and use the filter to see what it sounds like. Let's say I wanted a beat repeater there, then I can choose the slicer button here and hold it down and then move my mouse over to the effect that I want, so in this case the repeater. And then the XY pad becomes a repeater and sounds like this.
However, there are some more controls down here like cutoff and resonance where I can control individual pads by using the select button here and then selecting a pad by clicking on it like this. And then I can control that pad on the go. Finally, down the bottom of the plugin here is where you'll find the sound design section to choose the instrument sound of each pad from 1 to 4 on the left and 5 to 8 on the right. Changing an instrument is as easy as clicking on the title like this and then selecting your chosen sound. Then once you've chosen your sound you can start to tweak it in the middle section here using the dials like pitch, attack, decay, frequency shift, shift rate and shift range. And above here you can choose your filter type and settings too with mute, solo, pan and volume dials over here. So that's the basics of Spark EDM. I'll finish off now by playing some more of those presets. So that's the basics of Spark EDM. Uh, it's available via pluginboutique.com now. Cheers. See you soon.